But are there other, th what, do you, what do you do to keep yourself at this level? What are the secrets to your fitness? It takes a lot of strength, energy, and passion to perform on the court and give a comeback that Rafael Nadal has showcased in the Australian Open 2022. When you get to know Rafael Nadal's workout and diet plans, two things become clear. First and foremost, you must enjoy eating seafood. Second, you should spend a few hours each week working on your technique and physique, primarily by working out with weights, stretching, and running through a variety of exercise ball workouts. In this video, we'll give you the details about the intense workout routine of Rafael Nadal. Also, you'll get to know the hard routine this tennis star has to follow to keep himself fit and active. Stay with me till the end of this video to find a lot more. The Workout and Diet Plan for Players If we want to discuss the workout and diet plan of Rafael Nadal, then it is important to take a look at what is the baseline that the tennis is working with. Rafael Nadal's height is 6 foot 1 and his weight is around 85 kilograms. VigaFact has reported that the Spaniard is working with daily consumption of around 4,700 calories each day. If you are of those people who want to know about the fitness routine of celebrities as a shortcut, then you must approach every diet plan in two approaches, which is maintaining a diverse diet and a very hard training session. Yes, there is no other answer if you want to mirror the most admired fitness lifestyle in the world. Obviously, there are several facts, personal or environmental, for every individual that makes a plan a bit different for each other. The fitness routine that Rafael Nadal follows might not work that best for you. That much should be obvious no matter what diet and workout plan you're looking at. Rafael Nadal's Intense Workout For his warm-up routine, Rafael Nadal seems to stick to his exercise ball workout to prepare himself so he can practice for hours each day. Typically, Rafael Nadal hits the court right after his breakfast and does not leave until the afternoon. In between the practice session, the player keeps performing rigorous tennis-related exercises like footwork drills, racket swings, ball drills, and short sprints. The key exercise during the regular tennis session are core strengthening exercises. While being at the off-season, Rafael Nadal focuses on the weight training. For the workouts, the tennis player mostly engages in stretching. Much like Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal stretches for like an hour each morning. He stretches after the practice too. Full body stretching improves blood circulation and prevents jerk, injuries, and numbers. Power Plate In the warm-up routine of Rafael Nadal, there is a power plate. If you guys are not familiar with it, then know that a power plate is a vibrating platform that helps in the contraction of muscles at high speed, which is helpful in blood circulation, range of motion, and muscle strength. Rafael Nadal gets on top of this machine many times a day to make sure that any damage done to his muscles during his workout is offset. Resistance Bands Rafa has stated that keeping the muscles energetic and responsive is essential because tennis relies on varying bursts of movement and energy throughout a match. Resistant bands come in handy in this situation, and Rafa uses them to apply weight and pressure to his muscles and joints while training. This improves mobility, which is why almost every tennis player considers it a must-have. Core Body Workout To succeed in tennis, one must have a solid core. There are many core body exercises, but Rafael Nadal prefers standing sit-ups with resistant bands, push-ups, and pull-ups. Weightlifting As told you earlier, Rafael Nadal prefers weightlifting during the off-season to help him work on the muscles of his body that are weaker. When a tournament is approaching, he reportedly spends an hour or two at the gym, typically performing bench presses, trap pull-downs, leg extensions, and bicep curls. Bodyweight Training While Rafael Nadal is in the gym, he also incorporates bodyweight training into his routine. This training is the key to helping him swing the racket with full force and in jumping to hit the ball. Diet Plan of Rafael Nadal The bulk of the entire diet of Rafael Nadal centers around seafood. His choice of seafood has not changed since he started dominating the tennis world. Rafa would always praise the importance of a seafood-rich diet to the media, whether it was his third or 21st title. If you do not like seafood, then the diet that Rafael Nadal takes is not for you. The personal favorite food of Rafael Nadal is paella and chocolate, but he is the person who knows the significance of self-control. He once said, If you eat paella every day, you cannot play tennis. Rafa appears to avoid the trend of intermittent fasting and instead prefers a hearty breakfast that looks as delicious as his occasional dinner of seafood paella. So what breakfast does Rafael Nadal enjoys? Breakfast 
The breakfast Rafael Nadal includes freshly baked bread, which fulfills his need for carbohydrates for the day and stores energy throughout the day. Olives, Iberian ham, and orange juice are the items that are always present on the breakfast table at Rafael Nadal. Lunch The well-documented love of Rafael Nadal for seafood would easily come around in the lunch. He takes forms of steamed fish on most days. Some days he switches the protein content of his diet from fish to meat. It's unclear what kind of meat Rafa prefers, but the standard chicken breast is always a safe bet. Then we have olives. Rafa loves eating olives. Olives are the guilty pleasure of Rafael Nadal. He usually includes fresh vegetables in his diet. It is also evident from his few Instagram posts that those green vegetables are his go-to. We have seen cannoli in the grocery of Rafael Nadal, which is why it is obvious that he includes that in his lunch sometimes. Dinner Rafael Nadal is not eating paella every night, but sometimes he does. The man appears to enjoy all types of Chinese food in general, but he has previously stated to the press that shrimp dumplings are a favorite. Rafa doesn't seem to eat sweets very often, but when he does, he seems to prefer a chocolate bar over a cake or other confectionery. He's never stated how much chocolate he consumes, but it's clear that the man treats his craving with restraint. Other than this, Rafael used to be the brand ambassador of Bacardi, so it would not be a surprise to see some alcohol on the dinner table of Rafael Nadal. Pre- and post-match This is not just that's it. Rafael Nadal also has a pre- and post-match routine. This is not unique to Rafa, but the man drinks a combination of sports beverages and water during matches. Rafa has been known to down a protein shakes after each match, but also filtered seawater to help feed some essential nutrients back into the body. Rafael Nadal has great strength. Even though he battled COVID last year, he won his 21st Grand Slam against Daniel Medvedev and made an astounding return from being two sets down. He's also recovered from a foot injury recently, which took him out of a good deal of the 2021 season. One wonders what Rafael Nadal's diet and workout routine are right now, given his extraordinary resilience and ability to outlast a world-class opponent 10 years his junior at the age of 35. Tennis analyst Patrick McEnroe was confident that Rafael Nadal did not have any chance to come out of the Australian Open victorious. He gave the above-mentioned reasons for his statement. Nadal would go on to force a tiebreak, aggressively contesting the second set against Medvedev, before becoming the first male player in tennis history to win 21 Grand Slam titles. After the win, McEnroe tweeted, I have learnt my lesson, and also said that it is the second greatest win of Rafael Nadal. So all these problems could not stop the legend from making a world record. Rafael Nadal's rigorous workout and diet regime must be varied and comprehensive enough to provide the Spaniard with an immediate advantage in not only endurance and power, but also speed, agility, and coordination. Rafa's body is also clearly advanced in terms of recovery, so learning the secrets of his training regime could be extremely beneficial, regardless of who you are or what your baseline level of fitness is. So this was all from the video. Hope you all liked it. Do not forget to share your thoughts about the workout routine of Rafael Nadal in the comment section below. See you again with another video soon.